Welcome to CAUIM, SNMP Collector Probe 2.x, Troubleshooting Tips. This video will cover some of the known gotchas that will help you better troubleshoot SNMP Collector version 2. Memory issues would be the first area to investigate. Many times the default value is not enough to handle a larger number of metrics. Remember, the more devices, or the more metrics that are put on the bus, the more memory will be required. And this memory is spread out across two probes, both the SNMP collector and pole agent. To begin, there is a known memory leak in pole agent 2.0, so it should be upgraded to 2.10 or greater. This could solve any pole stopping problems that you are seeing. It's important to realize that the supported number of metrics for version 2 is a little under a million metrics. And that's assuming a fairly small number of devices, approximately just under 2,000. This alone would require for both probes combined a total of about 32 gigabytes of memory. This does not include memory space or CPU capacity for other probes. The best solution would be to scale out horizontally and have multiple SNMP collectors to do the job. Let's take a quick look at where the memory is configured for each probe. Memory settings on both Pole Agent and SNMP collector is different for each one of them. Because Pole Agent is an older probe and doesn't follow some of the rules that newer probes do, we end up having to change the memory settings from the arguments that are passed to it. And that happens through the edit functionality in IM. There's no equivalent in admin console for this. You just go in and you change the XMX setting to whatever value of however many megabytes you want to do. So it's quite a simple process, but you need to know where to go to do it. Now, for SNMP collector, it's a little different. And in this case, it happens to be turned off. Um, here, you can go to the raw configure, shift or control, right click in IM, and then you go to the startup options, and you can see the same basic kind of thing here. We can't edit it right now because SNMP collector is turned off, but nonetheless, that's where you would change it there. Now you can change it also in the admin console config where you can right click and go right to raw configure. And then in the startup you see that there. And you can do the same thing. Now you can also use G for gigabytes instead of M which is megabytes. I find that easier to deal with. That will restart as an MP collector. And that's fine because that's what you wanted to do, right? And then it will start pulling again at that point. So don't forget to change your settings for both SNMP collector and poll agent. Just changing one of them will probably not solve your problem if, if you're having an out of memory issue. Some things that happen when you run out of memory, you, you start losing metrics. Uh, you don't get 100% of the metrics that, that you've configured. And also you'll start getting NIM session errors and things like that, which, which are very difficult. They don't sound like they're the right thing. Um, errors that say they have a problem with name to IP, things like that. that. Those are all point to a memory issue, even though they don't specifically say, hey, I'm running out of memory. That's what's happening. Another area to watch is around proper host name resolution. Since it's common to install probes on virtual machines, and oftentimes, copies of virtual machines throughout the network, it's easy to ignore having an actual valid host name, but poll agent will not start without a valid name. An entry in the host file is all that's required. It doesn't have to be in DNS, but it does need to know its own host name. Unless it knows its name, it will not start, and, it will not tell you why it's not starting. This can become very frustrating, so it's easy to always check for a valid host name linked to your IP address in the host file. This applies to Windows, Linux and Solaris operating systems. It should also be noted that there was a, PPM bug, in UIM 8.2, that causes problems with alarms, and the template application. The new PPM download takes care of that, so it's important to upgrade immediately. Template POC configuration override is something that can happen and that you should be aware of. 
Let's take a look at a POC configuration. When you have devices and you want to, for example, go in and tell a, something that isn't already enabled or being monitored, if you want something that's not in a template to be monitored on just this one machine, you can go in here and on, for example, a particular interface, you can go ahead and enable that from this GUI, which is called the POC GUI. And you can do that, you can do the alarms, you can do all sorts of stuff right there. And that will start monitoring that particular metric on that device, on that interface. It's not the kind of thing you want to do a lot. That's why we have templates, because this takes a long time to go through bit by bit by bit and you know do a lot of monitoring this way however be aware that when a template is applied if it has this metric turned on that template will override this setting and then when you remove the template this setting is lost so templates override manually configured uh, metrics so that's something to be aware of next be aware that there are some template upgrade issues within some versions of 2.x. To resolve this, copy the older template versions into the bulk configuration directories, and they will be updated by that copy when the template editor reads them. Vendor cert issues are also being mentioned here, to make you aware that they are always being looked at, and resolved as they appear. Remember, that there are many vendor certs and metrics, and this makes it difficult to test on every device, but these fixes are always ongoing. For more detailed information about how to configure the SNMP collector probe, refer to the documentation wiki, or visit the UIM community to join in the discussion. The links can also be found in the YouTube description located below this video.